Shabbat Shalom. This week's parasha is Parashat Pekudei. And in the parasha, we read about the construction of the Mishkan, how Moses puts all the pieces together. But what is fascinating is that Moses doesn't do this alone. He has an artisan who assists him. The artisan's name is Bitzalel. Bitzalel is an incredibly talented guy. He has what is called Chachochma Binandat. He has wisdom, he has understanding, he has intuition. He's able to understand things that, uh, that even Moses himself wasn't able to intuit by himself. The parasha then tells us something incredible and asks the question, what is the purpose of the Mishkan? The purpose of the Mishkan, they say, is twofold. Number one, to re as a, re a constant reminder and reactment of what took place at Mount Sinai. But there's a second reason that is brought, that it is an atonement for the sin of the golden calf. Yeah, the, the golden calf, the Jewish, no, the Jewish people in their impetuousness brought the gold to fashion an idol to which to serve God. Now they're bringing the gold in order to serve God himself and not a stranger. But there's another insight, which I saw in the name of Mordechai Kamenetsky. He brings an insight which is so beautiful and says like this, What caused the sin of the Jewish people? It was the fact that Moses did not come, had tarried in his return to the camp. Moses had said, I will be back in 40 days. The people panicked. They miscalculated. They didn't realize that it didn't start from the moment that Moses went up. It started from that night. So there was a couple of hours break. And when they calculated, they calculated exactly Moses went up that moment. He'd come down exactly at that moment. And when he didn't, they panicked. What will be of us? How are we going to survive? There is no Moses. How, they were panicked. And when panic sets in, that is when chaos starts to reign. And they said they reverted back. They saw that in the days of the, of the in Egypt, you had these idols, these golden these calves, whatever it is, let's make one for ourselves. Let's replace Moses because Moses, we don't know what has happened to Moses. And in their panic, they, they create the golden calf. Says Rabbi Kamenetsky, it is uh, that maybe that part of the uh, atonement of the uh, Mishkan is not just the construction of the Mishkan, but a verse that is mentioned like this. But Salel performed everything that God had told Moses. Wait a second. But Salel didn't hear the command from God. He heard the instruction from Moses. How did he know what God had really told Moses? And Moses, in his, uh, his surprise, he says, But Salel, you are in the shadow of God. You're actually hearing stuff that I, I knew that was private. I only heard. But here was the powerful lesson. But Salel was the next generation. He wasn't with Moses. And yet he was able to answer a question, offer a solution and a direction that the Jewish people needed in order to construct the Mishkan. The challenge that the Jewish people had at that time was they thought there could only be Moses. And without Moses, there's no way that we can continue. And thus they panicked. The tikkun, the correction in the construction of the Mishkan showed that yes, Moses is incredible. There is only one Moses. But there are other people who can lead as well. And you should be able to listen to them because they also have Betzel El. They also have divine intuition. They also know what God wants and follow those leaders too. One of the challenges we have is that we always refer back to our old leaders. We think, oh, it was so amazing in days gone by. But who do we have in our own generation? Betzel El and the Mishkan teach us not to panic. We may not have Moses with us, but we will have a Bitzalel. We'll have leaders that can deal with the challenges of this generation. Moses leads the Jewish people out of Egypt, but it'll be Joshua who brings them in. Because each generation requires a different skill set and a different type of leader to lead them. Hashem understands it and it'll be right for us too. One of the interesting concepts that we have in Jewish law is the term of Jewish law, which is called halakha. Halakha means to walk, and it indicates that Judaism walks with us as we travel through time. The Mishkan, in the Mishkan, the Torah, so the Torah had, the, Torah, the Aron HaKodesh had two beams on either side, which were constantly carried. They could not be removed to teach us that the Torah will journey with us and deal with the issues of each and every generation. We should never get stuck on the past. 
We need to be able to learn from the past and apply those lessons to the present. And the answers that we seek may not be in the hands of a Moses, but in the hands of a Bitsalel. That is our challenge. Of course, we always want a Moses. But if Moses is there, not there, there are other people to consult. We don't have to panic and build an idol. Shabbat Shalom.